I've had some great backs here through the years, but none greater than Anthony Thompson, this week's TIAA iconic person. Here's New York Times best-selling author, John U. Bacon. The 70s and 80s were great decades for Indiana basketball. The Hoosiers football team, however, served as the Big Ten's bottom dweller for many of those years. That started to change when a crusty old coach named Bill Mallory arrived in Bloomington in 1984. But the Hoosiers did not take off until Mallory recruited a kid from Terre Haute, Indiana, named Anthony Thompson in 1986. Thompson was not that big at 5'11 and 200 pounds, but he possessed uncommon speed, skill, and determination, qualities that reflected the resurgent Hoosiers. In 1987, Thompson's sophomore year, he broke 1,000 yards rushing for the first time, while the Hoosiers beat both Ohio State and Michigan for the first time ever. Thompson was a marked man his junior year, but that did not stop him from running for 1,600 yards and 26 touchdowns. Indiana's foes had their best chance to stop Thompson in his senior year. Despite not having much of a supporting cast, Thompson ran just shy of 1,800 yards while averaging five yards a carry and scoring 24 touchdowns. Chicago Tribune awarded him the silver football as the Big Ten's MVP, only the third player to win it twice. The Heisman Trophies ranked him that close second, just a few votes shy of becoming the second player to win the Heisman Trophy on a losing team. On top of all that, Thompson earned a reputation as a genuinely good guy. He now serves as a pastor in Bloomington, Indiana. The College Football Hall of Famer joins us now. I don't even need to go through your accolades because it was just displayed on the screen. What kind of emotions did that spark for you, watching back through some of your highlight moments here at Indiana? Uh, Michelle, it just seems like a lifetime ago when I watched the video <laughs> and see all the uh, former teammates and great coaches that help us to get to this level. One of those great coaches, I know for you, was head coach Bill Mallory. Upon his passing last season, how would you describe the impact that he had, not only on your career then, but to this day in your life? I think uh, playing for Coach Mallory, you had to be tough. I mean, uh, he was a guy that, that reeked with great passion for the love of football, for the love of Indiana University, and just to, play, to have played for him was just such an honor. And he, taught, he took young boys and showed us how to be men. And so uh, that's, that's great memories for Coach Mallory. You're still heavily involved in the athletics program here. You have been since 1996. So what have you seen from new head coach Tom Allen and, and the way that he has embodied this football program? Tom is building the, uh, the program from the ground up. Uh, the program starts with great character kids, kids that want to be uh, committed, kids that want to be held accountable, and Tom is doing it on and off the field. And I think he has a sense of toughness like Coach Mallory did, and so he's building it from the ground up. And I've seen uh, kids that are uh, aspiring to be something greater than themselves. Well, uh, my producer's saying we might have to have your voice do some of our voiceovers because you've got a broadcasting voice, my friend. Anthony Thompson, he still is well-received here on campus. Thank you so much for the time, sir. Thanks, yeah.